Welcome, everyone, to It Tastes Different Gaming Podcast, the podcast with four different flavors coming from four different gamers. I am your host, Patrick Smith, and I want to welcome my co-hosts, Nick Irwin, Shane Eisterhold, and Russell Rowe. Hey, Patrick. Where can they find us? Well, the first place you should check out is our website at ittastedifferent.com. This is the place where you can subscribe to all of our streams and connect to all of our social media sites. You can also find us on Facebook at It Tastes Different. Uh, we're also on Instagram at It Tastes Different PC. And then last but not least is Twitter, where you can find us at It Tastes Diff. What's for dessert? We go back for second helping of pumpkin pie with video game sequels. Today, we're going to talk sequels, goods and bats, and uh, what we all feel about them. So let's start off with uh, Patrick today. Patrick, what do you think? Well, just like seconds, second helpings of anything... Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Sometimes you enjoy that dessert, and sometimes it's overkill and you're just miserable. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm sure we all have a favorite game series where the uh, the, se- the sequel is better than the first, or even like the third or fourth game is better than the previous ones. You know, uh, that's nothing is even truer in my favorite franchise where you know I would agree that Mass Effect 2 was better than Mass Effect 1. You know, uh, I would I would honestly say that that game was better than the first one. But then we jumped to Andromeda and Andromeda pretty much killed the franchise. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, uh, it, they could be good or bad. Uh, and, and even within the same family of games, you know, you, you can have great games that are, you know, great sequels. And then they can come along and just like crap on the whole series later on. You know, one of my favorite sequels to a game is Persona 5. Uh, that, in my opinion, is the best of all of the series, you know, and they kind of ended on that note currently, you know, so a really good sequel. But then yet again, you get like Andromeda, which is like the worst, and it's like the fourth or fifth game in the series. We all have that in our favorite, in our game favorites, you know. I mean, there's just, there's a reason that most games run in series, you know, or or IPs, as they call them in the game industry, or intellectual properties. You know, we take things like... um What's a really good franchise? Saints Row. In my opinion, Saints Row has gotten nothing but better and better and better over the years until they got rid of the, until you know until they got to Saints Row the Third and they basically just they threw everything out the window and the game went completely off the rails and it was amazing it was great and they just basically kind of stopped there um, you know Nick you got some like favorite sequels that did you know sequels that were better than the originals and maybe some of the sequels that basically ended franchises besides the long running series of games i don't know they're kind of hit and miss really um i agree with you that mass effect 2 was probably better than one you know and there's some games that they change up the formula uh, way too much and it almost seems like a different game um assassin's creed is kind of jungle you know juggled there were some games that were better than others when it came to those sequels. You know, I think one that really killed off any potential sequels was Castlevania Lords of Shadows. Uh, Lords of Shadows 1 was really great. And they, they kind of made a... I wouldn't call it a sequel. They made one that was kind of like a side-scrolling one. And, uh, that was a Lords of Shadows as well, but it was kind of like an, a side story. and then Or a prequel or something like that. And then they made Lords of Shadows 2, which was horrible so i think that really killed off that franchise from going to a lords of shadows 3 or beyond um didn't kill off castlevania of course but definitely killed off that lords of of shadows timeline and and kind of set up for that game i'm trying to think of something that was my favorite uh sequel there really isn't any games that i can think of that went from one game to a sequel at least off the top of my head right now that i enjoyed the sequel more Usually I like the first one more than anything because it's the original. I mean, unless the first one's just horribly broken and the second one, they kind of redeem themselves. You know, some people would go with Assassin's Creed in that sense. I really like Assassin's Creed 1. I think Assassin's Creed 1, it was very linear but I, and repetitive, but I think if they were to... Uh, I, I still enjoyed it, and I think if they were to remaster it and kind of put in some of the Assassin's Creed 2 stuff, that Assassin's Creed 2 had, which made it a really good game and kind of, you know, boosted the series, right? And the second one is really what made that franchise what it is today. You know, and then Mega Man's kind of the same way in that sense, too. There's good and bad ones of that game, and I love Mega Man. So 
again, I still love the first one. So I, you know, in, in my aspect, it's, I'm kind of a, a purist in that way. I, I like the original, no matter how it was created. Uh, and I can't really think of any at, at the moment. I can't think of any really sequels that I felt that were like, you know, uh, better than the original in a sense that, well, in the sense that it, it would make it, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, like Assassin's Creed 2 was better than the first one, yes, but I still like the first one. So I don't feel like if they didn't make two like the first, or if they made two like the first one, then I wouldn't play it or something like that. It, like, it didn't make the, the, potentially it didn't really make, it made it better, but it didn't like, it wasn't a bad sequel and it wasn't a bad uh, beginner. So Well then, what about like Deus Ex? The, I didn't like the original game, Deus Ex. I agree. But, but Human Revolution, awesome. Fantastic. Yeah, that's one I could say that I could never have played the first one and be fine with that one because this one basically blew that one out of the water. I love the original too, Deus Ex. Yeah, <laughs> you're, yeah you're a weirdo. <laughs> I, I, I actually like it too. I had it on PC, played the hell out of that one. I, I, think, after human, those, I, I think Human Revolution blew it out of the water. and, and X, Easily. You know, yeah. The thing about Deus Ex, in, in the, and we're talking about that game, is Human Revolution really brought it to a wider audience, whereas Deus Ex 1 and 2, and, and 2 was actually, I guess that's in the case where it, Infinite War, I think, was the second one. That one wasn't as good as the first one. Uh, I still liked it, but it, it definitely wasn't as good as the first one, so I guess that would be considered a, a bad sequel um, in that sense. But, you know, for us, that for those individuals that played the original Deus Ex, um, we really liked the first one and, you know, think the second one's okay. It's not quite what the first one was. Uh, I, I agree though. Human Revolution was really good. I enjoyed that game a lot, but that was a, you know, I, I think that Human Revolution really brought that game into the broader, uh, spectrum, you know, broader audience. Cause that was the third game in the franchise at that point. All right. And I, and I would go original. so far as say mankind was even better than that one. Mankind divided. Oh, that's tight, because I, I really enjoyed it, but, man, I don't know, it's, I think story-wise, I probably, you're correct, but I don't know, that'd be, that'd be a tight call, but I, I think both of those are fantastic, and both far and away better than the original, too. When, yeah. when that game came out, that was like 2000, when the original came out, that was, for me, I say it's my favorite one only because of nostalgia. Like I was really starting to 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 get into con uh, not console but uh, PC gaming, and you know like Half Life, uh, Deus Ex, um, Descent, all those kind of came out all at the same time. And every time I played one, it was like the first time I played it on a PC. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest game ever. So that's the only reason why I I, I probably uh, agree with Nick. Wow, just for that reason. No other reason, Nick. It's the only reason he would agree with you. Only reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I guess, yeah, and, and in Nick's sense, he's a purist. He's an oddball one out anyway because he loves all these retro games. I mean, we all like our mm -hmm. retro games, but Nick is, like, way beyond us in this stuff, you know. Um, well, let's talk about, like, you know, what about you, Russ? Do you have a favorite series that basically the sequels were better? That yeah, you thought I were mean, better? I've got two that come to my mind, and, and I knew that you guys were going to kind of go with the the mass uh, the the Mass Effect and stuff like that. I knew that those kind of were coming, so I kind of was like, "Well, what a couple of games that I really really love that that I talked about a lot, uh, and I've talked about to the group a lot." And Patrick will know this, uh, Gran Turismo. Uh, that was like my first racing game. I loved that game. Two was was huge, but four is the one that I really really like. Loved. I think that was released on PlayStation 3, I think. Or it was like even maybe a cross-gen between the two. But when I played Gran Turismo 3, I felt like I was actually driving a game. I I, that, I, put, I probably put 200 hours into that game uh, at minimum. And then my other choice for uh, better one than two was Mortal Kombat 2. Uh, Mortal Kombat 2 like was the bomb. I mean, on Sega Genesis, I... I I uh, don't want to admit my age within this, but I skipped many of college classes to play Mortal Kombat 2 for nine straight hours. Not saying when that happened, but it did. 
So those two <laughs> games there. I mean, there's a lot of other games we could talk about. I mean, I, I'm with you guys with Mass Effect. Uh, I, I think uh, Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption Two, was better than one. I think that, but I think yeah. that graphically, I think that graphically versus you know like like the way that they they wanted it to play. But I think that's unfair too. I'm trying to take my take my perspective of like, well, a newer game came out, it looked better, but was it really better? So, right. so that's I what would I'm disagree to with that one. That's uh, a popular yeah. pick, though. I would disagree. I think Red Dead One is way better than Red Dead Two, but you know, <laughs> unless he's talking about Red Dead Revolver, <laughs> and then Red, Red Dead Redemption, <laughs> Revolver was the first one. So. Um. Well, then how about this, Nick? Since you're one of those nostalgic people, what about Tomb Raider, the 2013 Tomb Raider? I felt that was immensely better than the original. Uh, yes, I, I agree, but they took Tomb Raider in a, in a totally different direction with those. It's like, almost I mean, it's, like a different game, though. They yeah, really exactly. Because if you go back and play the original Tomb Raider, it's completely different from these. I mean, these were the original Tomb Raider was more about uh, exploring tombs and, and being kind of alone, you know. As they got a little further on in the Tomb Raider franchise, the original ones, they did get more into that, you know, the fighting humans and stuff like that. I mean, you still had human combatants in the original ones, too, but not for very long or not in uh, not as much involved as some of the later series. But, yeah, I, I agree. Tomb Raider, the recreation of it was really good, but I would agree that that's a totally different. I mean, that's like that's like rebooting the entire series uh, in that sense. It's not really a, a sequel more than it is a, a reboot of the entire franchise. All right. So Nick's going to dance around that one. What about, I'm going to throw a good, <laughs> what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to best Nick now. I want to get, and I want to get a remake from Nick or a sequel that is better than the original from Nick. What about Arkham City? I would argue that Arkham City was way, way leaps and bounds above the original. I'm going to put this out here. I only played the first one. Oh, are so you, you kidding me? You are a hose then. Arkham City <laughs> is awesome. It is. The, yeah, it's so freaking good. I mean, Rocksteady uh, just, they took their previous game and wrecked it with the new one. Because oh, yeah. the new one is just, uh, oh my God. The combat in that thing. The combat was is, amazing compared to the first one. The first one's combat is garbage compared to this one. No, 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 no. I won't say that because I oh, really I liked the original. Bad. But it wasn't it wasn't as tight and toned as this one, uh, as uh, Ark, uh, Arkham City. But God dang, Arkham City is fantastic. Yeah, see, Nick I cannot kill believe that. I can't <laughs> believe he's only played the first. And what, nah. dude? We own all Has three. Has it been on Game Pass? Go back. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I own okay. them on the PC and Xbox. But All I right, Nick, did you play the Elder the Scrolls one. games? Yes. Elder oh, Scrolls yeah, Five: right Skyrim. Skyrim better than everything before it. Morrowind. Still better. No, I, I I barely I played like five hours of Skyrim. I played the crap out of Morrowind. <laughs> It's Man. like I don't know you, right? Yeah, that's what I was getting ready to say. <laughs> More, uh, Skyrim, I I like Skyrim. I do. Nick uh, probably Skyrim, liked I, Double I, Dragon too better than the original Double Dragon. Oh yeah, he liked <laughs> okay. he liked yeah he liked what, Contra Nick? Corpse. Did I hear you say yes? I like Double Dragon too, and more. better than Double Dragon the original. Oh, probably not. That's what I'm but, saying. <laughs> the Double yeah, Dragon I, two I, is no, so I, much better. But you know. Uh, Elder Scrolls, you know, even Morrowind wasn't the first one. What was it? Just Elder Scrolls, I think it was, or maybe Arena or something like that. Um, or maybe Daggerfall was the first one. Which I never played those. But the first one I played was Morrowind, which I really like a lot. Um, I like Oblivion a lot, too. And, and I like Skyrim. I, I think Oblivion and Morrowind were the two that I put the most time in. And uh, Skyrim was, yeah, I probably... <laughs> Truthfully, the most probably the the, the uh, max amount of hours I put into Skyrim is probably like five to ten hours, and that's about it. All right, All right. I'm trying to stump Nick now. Bioshock right, no. two better than that's one. That's where I was going. That's exactly where I was going. <laughs> Bioshock like two better than one. Yes. No. no. Bioshock two is a piece of crap. Yeah, Bioshock two is horrible. No, Bioshock two was way better than one. 
All right, now no. see, man, we oh, were the- on a roll, Pat. Me and you were agreeing on stuff, and and right there, you took a big old dump on it. Bioshock Two was Bioshock tr- actually got it ranked higher than Bioshock One Two. Well, that's it, talking about Infinite or Two. Oh, Bioshock Two. Um, no, hold on, hold on. Now you talking about Bioshock Two, where they're still underwater? Yeah. Are you we high? The big Daddy? Yeah, Bioshock Two got a meta score of eighty-eight compared to the original. No, I, I well, I may have, but uh, no, that yeah, would that's be still not wrong. Not very good compared to the first one. No, I I like two better. I think it did better than than the first than the first one, but. So you didn't like that one. Um, I don't know, then. I, all right, all right, Nick. Of, go back to what Russ talked about. Mortal Kombat. Those are all the same. I, it's hard to gauge those ones. No, 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 no. No, those are, those are uh, not all the same. I already got a good one. I got a good one. All right, Nick. Mortal Kombat. Anything other than one better? Anything other than one? Yeah, anything better than one. One, two, three, nine, twelve, oh, yeah. 50, whatever. <clears throat> yeah, Mortal Kombat, right. yeah, any of them besides one. I mean, I like one, but I think two is better All than right. one. So was 10, was 11 better than 10? By leaps and bounds, yes. There you go. <laughs> I, think, I think Mortal Kombat has gotten better with age, really. I mean, I think yeah. the last one, what was it? The last one was 11, right? Eleven, yeah, and yeah, it that's, was that's it was fantastic. Yeah, it's, that one's probably my favorite one out of all of them. So, yeah. I mean, of the newer three D ones for sure. <clears throat> of the two D uh-huh. ones, maybe trilogy, but mm-hmm. that's just because they added everything in it. Yeah. So that well, I, yeah, I mean, for the most part, if they keep making games, it's because the set, the extra, the, the continuation on, especially if you're getting into like four and five and higher than that, that means that the previous game did better than the first one or the one before it. Mm-hmm. You know. I, one right. of the series that comes to mind is Fable. I, I I love Fable, but I think Fable 2, in my opinion, was the best of the series. Oh, that, that's that's a given, I think. Yeah, I would agree with that. You know, even the last Fable that, that came out didn't touch that one. I really liked one. I didn't care too much oh, yeah. for three, but I think two was the best one, for sure. Yep, I agree. Yep, cool. And, you know, but games keep doing that. I mean, any game that's got a number after it, in my opinion, that's higher than two, has for the most part been doing its, you know, it's been doing better than its predecessor until you reach that magic number where it falls on its face and they don't make any more, <laughs> yeah. you know. So it's just right. like anything. You could be it good or bad. It just depends on if they. It, it depends on how they take the franchise, right? You know, so if they take something that they, if they take that framework and they expand on it, then you, typically sequels are usually good, uh, in in most cases. Now, especially if a game, if the first one was good in its own right, you know, and they just take that and they expand on that that aspect. Um, sometimes sequels are good if if the first game wasn't <laughs> that good, and then they totally rework it, right? So that's that's almost yeah. like rebooting the franchise at that point. They're like, okay, we messed up with one, let's try again with two. That's kind of the way in Assassin's Creed, right? Assassin's Creed was kind of like, you know, even though I love Assassin's Creed one. It was kind of like a technical test, right? Like, let's see how this goes. And yeah. People are like, well, we kind of like this, but we wish there was more. And they're like, okay, good. We're going to reboot this. Because then once, you know, they pretty much just threw out uh, Alistar or whatever his name was from the first one and brought in Enzio. And he had three games, right? <laughs> so, right. you know, clearly they, they hit a home run there. They just took what they had in the first one and, and really expanded it in the second one. And that's, you know, they, they kind of, in that sense, rebooted the whole franchise as a whole at that point they didn't really expand on uh too much what they had they, they kind of did with the assassinations but they added it on this entire whole metagame you know uh into it that you know unfortunately became the assassin's creed that we have now which is way too much crap but yeah that was I kind of the start. It's it's definitely because you see some of these games that just reinvent themselves i mean we'll take a perfect example of of a of a, a playstation game of God of War. I mean, that game went from... In, this is just my opinion. I wasn't a fan of the God of War series until the most recent God of War game. And I love the most recent God of War game by Sony. Or, you know, the, the on the PlayStation. Uh, I I didn't care for the original God of War, the God of War 2 and all that stuff. The The current Gen 1 that Sony put out is um is the best of the series, in my... That's my opinion. 
I know people love that franchise, but I couldn't get into it until this re- most recent one. Have you guys? All, you guys have all played that one, right? Yeah. Um. I don't know. I I, I did not like three at all. I didn't like that one uh, other turd they made after. I can't think of the name of it. Uh, but one was one was almost genre defying, uh, which is you know what led to a lot of other games to be made. But if you want to just go on an overall, the new God of War, the reboot, whatever you want to call it, is uh, amazing, absolutely amazing. It's it's a different game entirely though than right. the original. I, I mean, will agree one hundred percent. But I, I, I cannot rule out how fantastic I thought the original was and then the sequel. Uh, but then they made garbage after that and we don't want to talk about. <laughs> but then this whole new one is just great. I, I think the yeah. new, one, new series is great. And I, I think it was great because it was a pro, it's a product of gestation. They, they walked away from it for a long time. They let it... They just let it be where it was, and then when they decided they were going to come back to the franchise, you know, they had fresh minds, fresh ideals, fresh faces, uh, and, and, you know, they did things that were just completely out of the ordinary for that type of game. Right. You know, instead of being a big, brutal mash and bash, you know, the game had a lot of heart in it. I mean, Kratos, you know, as a father... It was completely out of what I would have thought, and then they made it just so good. So it's it's a different game, though. I mean, it yeah, really is voice, a different game. Voice acting will help with that very much. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. That's just, uh, that's just a shout out to me and Patrick's boy. I mean, we we love Keel? Christopher Judge, so yeah. Oh yeah, so. Keel, love Chris. Yeah. Um, uh, but I, not that anybody asked me, but yes, I agree uh, with everything that's being said. Two was okay. Um, and, uh, I never played one, but two was okay, but it was like, it, it, I guess maybe because God of War, the first one fired up a a series of games, maybe and God of War just felt the same as any kind of like blood rain or anything like that. If that, if the game I'm talking about is, is right. Or like dark siders, you know, that kind of like, um, like you said, bash, smash and bash, just bashing buttons through. Whereas the new, the new God of War. Um, I mean, the story was so compelling and then the abilities within that game were just so awesome. I, I, I loved this new, I can't wait for the next God of War, uh, which I think they teased at the last Sony. So it'll be on the next gen console and that will be one of them that I'll, I will buy full price as well. Yeah. That's only if Sony ever releases their new system. I heard they did, but I haven't seen it yet. (laughs) All right. It's, can it's I, not real. Can I, I mean, butt in with with a question? Yeah. So ha, this is well, this is talking about splitting hairs. This is a splitting hairs game to me. <laughs> Half Life and Half Life Two. I think Half Life is. I we already know that's one. That is my favorite game of all time. And Half Life Two. We're talking about splitting hairs. I like Half Life the original first over Half Life Two just because of the feeling I get thinking about Half Life the 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 original. So I just wondered what everybody else thought. I, I don't know if any everybody got to play both of them. I like two oh, better yeah. than one, but two wouldn't be around without one. But I do like both. It's it's a it's a toss almost. I mean, two and one are both great games, but. Two wins out barely over one, in my opinion, just just because I yeah. like two a little bit better. I mean, really, they're they're both the quality of both of them. It's two is really really is just a fluid continuation of one. It's it doesn't feel like anything different or better. It's just a, it, it's just uh, the complaints of the first one are fixed in the second one, and what was good, you know, what was done right in the second uh, first one is improved upon in this in the second one it's just it felt more like a nice fluid transition instead of like a, a sequel i mean it right. felt like yeah. a felt part like one two. long episodic game yeah uh because the 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 game is that good i mean it's you know it's bragged upon by you know many gamers for uh you know last 20 years but 
It's well, just that good of a game. That's why it's, you know, people talk about it, you know, still today. Well, let's let's kind of take this in the other route, though. What are some game franchises that you guys think are crappy that continue to keep putting out n- 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 new games? I mean... Oh, God, where to begin? I mean, what's a, you know, something <laughs> that has multiple sequels to it, you know. Um, Watch Dogs. But that's a problem. And I will, I'm, I'm going to agree with you. I don't like one and two. And I haven't played three yet. But here's the problem. I own one, two, one, and two, three. three. <laughs> Same so, here. So we are the we are problem we are the problem with this franchise. Because Absolutely. I bought one and one was complete garbage. I bought two. Two was garbage, but it was not as bad as it wasn't as hot as garbage as part one was, in my yeah, opinion. It cooled down. <laughs> and three, I haven't got to play it yet, but I still bought it and I so got we, it. We all suffer from that. Nick, you know, Russ, what do you guys <laughs> think on that? Because I mean that in my in my opinion, so far that series has done nothing but let me down. But yet I bought three. I bought three on sale, albeit, but three I bought. I'm gonna lean towards Nick first because I know what I'm about to say is probably gonna fire up Shane beat for the next like three days, maybe two weeks. I know where you live. I helped you move. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I would agree with Watch Dogs. I think that's a horrible franchise that we keep buying because we think it's going to be better. And, and then again, I haven't played three either. We, we have it, but I haven't played it. But uh, I'm not. I don't have high hopes for it. So because I think one and two are pretty bad, and uh, I'm sure three will be. That's, that's a franchise that you know uh, Ubisoft needs to just kill off and say we're done with this one. I, I would say. Uh, uh, I don't know, a franchise that's gone on for a long time that I don't feel personally gets any better or just, you know, it's it's not really, I guess it's not really a game up my alley, I should say. And I, it doesn't usually get high marks, but Dynasty Warriors, that that franchise has gone on forever and <laughs> yeah. every one of them like a six or a seven. And They're the they same game everything. over and over. Yeah, it and it's like, why do you keep making this crap? Like, I, I don't know, that's just one series that I... Does baffles me why they keep making another one. So well, yeah, because they're all the same. I mean, <laughs> they are. I, I don't. I, I don't know. What are they up to? Like Dynasty Warriors ten or something? Some crap oh, like right. that. Yeah, uh, they maybe. I mean, they got yeah. besides the numbered franchises, they got spinoffs too. So it's oh, like, yeah. oh yeah. I mean, Dynasty, who knows Warrior, how many... Dynasty Warriors is like the uh, button masher of Madden. I mean, there's one every freaking year. It seems like. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because it, it, it seems like Dynasty Warriors made uh, uh, Dynasty Warriors. Uh, you know, so I guess this is part of the problem, too, though, is because they made the Hyrule Warriors. You know, that, yep. they're the ones that made both of those Hyrule Warriors, which is, you know, they're spinoffs of that game. So, I mean, they've taken some of our favorite games and made spinoffs of it. I mean, One Piece. They also did the same thing with Persona 5. They did the Persona 5 Scramble. <laughs> you know what I mean? Jeez. It's uh, they take some of our great games and gun them, but yeah, that's I agree with you on that. That's a long-standing series where I don't understand how they continue to keep making more and more and more because I can't imagine that many people are buying enough of them. But maybe there are because I, if you played one Dynasty Warriors, you played them all. <laughs> it's just different classes or or yeah. groupings of warriors, if you will, because it's the same game. I, that's a good I, one, Nick. I agree with that. I remember when the first one was released, the first or second one, I can't remember which, and, you know, it was uh, like, oh, my God, look at all the characters you can have on screen at one time, and I'm like, oh, my God, this looks so cool, and, you know, I played it, it's like, oh, my God, there's so many people, oh, my God, I'm killing them all, and then the next one came out, yep, it's the same game, <laughs> it's just yeah. different skin. Yep, and so... That's a that's a good one, Nick. Uh, that was a pretty good one. That's a long running series that I don't understand how it continues to run. You know, in my opinion, there's tons of games like that, but it's just usually me that thinks that way. Like I'm a I don't understand the Pro Skater series, the Tony Hawk stuff, and then they make like five or six of those. Uh, uh, yeah, they should have stopped it too, though. <laughs> but you know, so but that's not that's not a game of my alley. I'm not a big fan of those. What about like you know every like, sports oh, every sports game? What about what about what's that, Nick? Well, what about Russ's? He he wanted me to go. Oh first. yeah, 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 Russ. What are you gonna be all offending me about, Russ? Yeah, he didn't butt in. We 
Skip yeah, Perry. I was. I, I know, but I didn't want to butt in. I, I because number one, I, I, I what you were about to say, I was going to agree with anyway. But we'll we'll start with this one. <laughs> I and it's these genre games, and, and I can't think of all of them, but it's but the one that comes to mind. And I know the first one was very very popular, and people liked it. But we're we're saying personally, right? We're saying what are yeah, our, whatever you are, yeah, exactly, yeah, right? Uh, Devil May Cry. I cannot stand those games. I, I, I am not a big, uh, must, uh, button mashing type of guy. I, I've just, I, I don't, I don't understand. They come out with games and they're like 60 bucks every time. It's the same exact game with maybe two or three new moves every time. Luckily, I think we only own one and I, I, I just, I, it, drives me crazy it, it just i don't like it and i have a feeling that shane loves those series but you know we'll see that that game there i'm i am just i'm tired of seeing that kind of game i will give your scrotum a columbia necktie the <laughs> hell man devil devil may cry is fantastic don't get what me wrong the most recent one <laughs> uh, it's a, it's a blast it's a blast it's really? stupid fun because it's so over the top, it's nonsensical. Uh, characters are are just you know they're crazy, and it's it's a blast. Um, now don't get me wrong, there there is some stale ones throughout, uh, but the last one is a, basically a reinvention in my opinion. But I, I can't disagree with Russ as long as he's talking about like uh, after two up. Uh, Two five, a lot of that was <laughs> crap. <laughs> but that's what a lot of that's what a lot of these uh, uh, games do, though they they reinvent themselves once they start going downhill. Uh, let's, a good example of that is Resident Evil. Uh, Resident Evil One was new. It was different. It was cool. It was you know, it was a beginning of a new genre. Uh, two came out, improved upon it vastly. Uh, three came out, eh. It's good up until Ver- five, in my opinion. <laughs> Code Veronica came out. I was like, oh my God, that's what two was. This right here is what you know should have been the third one. And then they changed it up quite a bit with four. Four was awesome. Uh, it was a little more action y than the horror aspect, and that was fine. Uh, but then they went to five. And five was a fun two player game, but it wasn't Resident Evil. <laughs> Six was just. Six was oh bad. my god! Oh my god! I mean, you know, me and Nick have played through them uh, because they're cooperative and cooperatively they're fun, but they're not Resident Evil. There's nothing about five and six that are really Resident Evil. Well, we've talked um, about that before. We could take a crappy game if it has co-op oh, and yeah. it's a good game. Exactly. Uh, but you know, they they came back and you know, plus they made all those uh, other crappy ones like Umbrella Corpse or whatever the hell that one was called, where the Wii game on the rails, stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, they brought it back with 7. You know, 7 went back to the horror aspect. It wasn't a perfect game, but it was definitely Resident Evil. Uh, and then they, you know, they rebooted 2 and 3, um, which, they're, you know, those are fantastic as well. So, I mean, sequels to games don't always get better. Uh, in my opinion, no. the best the best sequels... As far as the game, the companies that are doing sequels right, Final Fantasy. I think uh, those, uh, they've had some crap ones, but I think overall, every game has improved uh, because they're all different. They're all, you know, new combat system, new characters, new stories, new environments, new elements. About the only thing that's, you know, continuous in a Final Fantasy sequel from the previous is... uh, Aeons or Guardians or whatever they're called in the next one. And uh, you have to world, look out for yeah. yeah, Biggs, Wedge, and Sid, about the only characters that ever continue over. <laughs> uh, but you know, those are those are ones that are done right for the most part. Now there's some there's some iffy ones in there, but none of them are terrible. Uh, mm-hmm. in my opinion. I think uh, I think ten two it was probably the weakest uh, of all of them that I played. Uh, I think Lightning, uh, uh, sorry, Final Fantasy 13 3 
was probably my, I wouldn't say the biggest letdown. Uh, just there was something about it I could not get into, but the combat was fantastic. Uh, but that's just what Final Fantasy does. But it's just, you know, there's lots of, you know, games like that. But the most solid uh, series, in my opinion, has been Metal Gear Solid. I've loved all of them up to five, except, you know, five was five was definitely downhill. Are you just talking solid or anything Metal Gear? <laughs> uh, anything Metal Gear. All right. Metal Gear, you Metal Gear Solid. Whatever. You yeah. like Survive, you can eat it. Oh, no, no. See, you I said totally anything Metal Gear. You said anything I, Metal Gear. <laughs> I am not going to. I'm going to have to apologize because I totally <laughs> forgot about that piece of crap. We played that for like an hour, maybe. But in, in my defense, that's not a Metal Gear game. What I don't know what the hell they were thinking, but that ain't Metal Gear. <laughs> we played that game for like an hour. Well, at least we all did together. The beta. Think, yeah, the beta. We didn't even go any further than the beta on that. Well, at least yeah. I didn't. Nick, did you did you buy that one? No. It's on Game Pass, so I think. Is it? <laughs> yeah. It's on Game Pass, or it was. I don't know if it still is. Well, let's, you know, that's funny. So let's let's talk about, like, maybe some stuff that we don't feel, you know, basically, you know, some of the worst ranked games, do we do you agree with them as being, like, some of the worst ranked games sequels of all time? So, you know, for an example would be, uh, this is one that I don't agree with, and I'm going to put it out there, but The Force Unleashed 2 was basically everybody hated that one said it was a really worse sequel in this franchise but i like the force unleashed too mm. i don't i'm trying to honestly remember that's been so long back i i don't I think, think it even think left two a, two had some like some like parkour parts to it that kind of annoyed me i think if memory serves me, wasn't that the one that had a little bit of parkour to yeah. it just a little uh-huh. bit yeah, I, and like that kind of bothered me a little bit in it. Like, that's the the one thing that bothers me about Star Wars games sometimes is that they do that to kind of add a little extra force element to it all, and and that drives me crazy more than anything. That's the why the most recent I, one did that too, didn't it? Yeah, and that's why I struggled. Yeah, that's why I struggled with Jedi Order. Like, I I I don't mind parkour sometimes, but I also want. I, I love story within those games, hence the reason you know when we go back all the way back to Knights of the Old Republic, and 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 uh, and go back that far, like those stories were so great, and and I I don't know that's another discussion for another day, but when it came to two on that one, I I have to say I I, I didn't like it quite as much, but I didn't even like the first one that much. Like those games is just they're just I feel like they're here to try to soothe our Jedi needs, but they always fall short. I, maybe that's my, maybe that's my personal thing within the fact of like I expect too much ev- for for every Star Wars game. Maybe. Well, that that's a big thing. Yeah, I have high hopes for that series. You know, Nick, did you play that one, The Force Unleashed too? I think so, but I do not remember it. That's how good it was for you. <laughs> that's how good it was. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to think of some games that we that some of us are maybe not on the the fence on. So you know, a lot of these company or a lot of these game sites will rank and review games based off of you know, uh, you know the most disliked sequels or something. And and some of the stuff that I see always kind of gets to me like, uh, you know, one of the ones that I don't know. Let's take the Dragon Age series for example. Origins was the best, and in my opinion, still is the best of the Dragon Age game. But none of the sequels or anything were bad. I like Dragon Age 2. It wasn't as good as Origins. It, and, you know, in my opinion, it's probably the worst out of the franchise. I like Inquisitor better than Dragon Age 2. But I wouldn't say it's, like, one of the worst sequels ever. But what about you guys on that? You know, like, I, I like the Dragon Age series. I'm not a big Dragon Age guy, so I really couldn't say yay or nay. I mean, they're fine. I would never, I would never go, go and stand in line for one of their games, but they're fine. I'm a Dragon Age of... fan. Yeah, yeah. I I beat two out of the three, so yeah. And now, I think so... I beat. I, I think what was the last one? In, in, Inquisition. Yeah. I think I did that on both PC and 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 console. Right. 
would you say that two is a really bad sequel? I wouldn't say really bad, but it it wasn't the greatest. If memory serves me right, when you did the pause function on two, it was really wonky. Like you couldn't really set your parameters on those guys, like what you really wanted them to do. Like it was well, yeah. Like in one, it, they had the tactical pause, and two kind of got rid of that. Yeah, and so that's something that was kind of missed there, I think. I mean, yeah, 2 was very linear. I will say that. It was very linear. It got away from the tactical pause menu, and then it, it got rid of one. It had, In my opinion, it had one of my biggest gripes, which is they removed the healer class, so you had to rely on pots more, potions more. But I wouldn't call it a horrible sequel. Nick, would you call it a horrible sequel? No, I like 2. Yeah. So I'm just trying to, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to see how we vary from like most of the internet, you know, most of the groups on the internet on what they say. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the Duke Nukem series, but you know, Nick, Shane, you guys play a lot of Duke Nukem. I think Duke Nukem started, you know, when it first came out, it was, you know, it was a little revolutionary. It was, uh, it was different. It was neat. You know, he was kind of a party guy, you know, but his character really isn't isn't something that you know really works you know today or even in the last 10 years i mean everything they've made in the last you know 10 15 years with duke has been you know crap it really yeah. has uh to me i mean if if i want to play a, an antiquated shooter like that i'll go back to the serious sam you know serious sam is not you know a, a a story game that you know makes any kind of a difference but there's always something fun about it duke nukin hasn't had that in you know uh, you know 20 years hmm. so interesting what about you nick what do you think of that series yeah duke nukem hasn't really had anything good since duke nukem 3d i think that was probably the last good duke nukem game no duke nukem forever for you guys huh <laughs> no, no, definitely not. It's that it's was not never that a fan they could, series, so yeah, it's not that they couldn't do something with them, but you know, because I mean, there's nothing wrong with being a funny, a funny character in that kind of a, a game. It's just I don't know, just it seems like they try too hard when they actually do try to make it, and yeah. it just never works. That makes sense. That makes sense to me. Yeah. Um, I, I feel like there was a bunch of better games in the same genre during that time that came out. Yeah, when he came, when Duke came out first, it was it was ooh and ah. But there's so many other games that came out, uh, you know, similar to it, but doing something different that just worked much better. Well, right. the original Duke didn't that come out? Didn't, didn't that come out during like Doom and and all that? Like, I mean. Uh, Half Life. It came out like during that uh, all that same I'm period not of time. Sure, which came out first? Duke Nukem, freaking old game. Like yeah, it was like ninety eight, ninety nine, uh, ninety one. Oh, that okay. So yeah, so like ninety one. I mean, maybe it was a little bit ahead of its time for for what it was, but it, it just I never really got into that series. What yeah. about? I just thought yeah, see, about, what about came Max, out a couple about, years afterwards. Yeah, it was a couple years afterwards. It was ninety three, I think, or ninety yeah, yeah ninety three when the first one came out. Then two came out in ninety five, I think. What about Max Payne? And uh, Max Payne's a bit of a different game. Max Payne's a third person. Uh, Max Payne is also uh, a game series that's really kind of hit and missed over its you know its run. That last yeah. one that they made. Max Payne was wearing like a, a Hawaiian shirt or something. It's all I remember. And it was a good game, but it was, you know, there was nothing really special about it because, you know, it had the typical bullet time and everything, but, you know, everybody's been doing it. So it's, you know, it's, yeah, I I, know. that was, that was rough. In my opinion, the Max Payne games, none of them are better than any of the other. This is my opinion. I felt like they were all like equal with footing. None of them were really like outstanding or jumped out at me, mm. but they were all like three okay, good games. You know, they weren't like yeah. great games, but they were good games. Yeah, they had interesting uh, setups, you know, because they were a dark and kind of a uh, 
a renegade uh, cop. I mean, basically, you know. So yeah, yeah, but there was, kind was, of a there was always series. a kind of a yeah, but there was a horror aspect, like a newer, like a newer series. Yeah, I I like the first two more than the third one. I mean, mainly because the first two were made by Remedy. Uh, <laughs> and uh <clears throat> and you know i i remember playing the first max Payne, the bullet time and all that stuff that hadn't been done yet you know there well, at least no game that was mass marketed had done that bullet time stuff so that was a lot of fun i love max Payne 2 and max Payne 3 was made by rockstar so it it was good but it had that rockstar flair to it that all rockstar games have so yep. it kind of lost its it's uh Kind of lost its Max Payne appeal, but still, it was a it was a pretty good game. Yeah, hmm. yeah, I forgot about the Max Payne series. I mean, it, they haven't done anything in forever. And yeah, Rockstar owns it now, so who knows if they'll ever do anything with it? Unfortunately, Remedy doesn't have it anymore. So. Right. Yeah, yep. I, I'm kind of surprised Rockstar hasn't done something with it because it's it's not a it's not a dead name. I mean, people still know it. People still have fond memories of it. So I would like to see them do something. So this this is kind of going on the, where we're against. This is just one of the games that I kind of think that we're against the grain on. But everybody's basically touting Last of Us Two is better than the original, which I think it's all four of, of us. I think all four it's... of us are in opposite <laughs> agreement that it doesn't even come. Who close. said that? They're lying if they did. <laughs> it's being well, ranked and rated higher than. The yeah, first. they're talking game of the year, and it's like. No, you know what? They no. have it on the nominees as game of the year, but yeah, I mean, no, that game was the the if they put it in the worst game of the year, maybe. Right. If they it would put not, it in the biggest disappointment. Biggest or, disappointment. Yeah, that's what I would say. Yeah. Biggest disappointment. Um, because because I, it started off like it should. It started off fantastic. It's you know, uh, but you know, it's 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 almost like they they made some choices just to piss off the people who love the game. Right. Yeah, I I think so too. And it's just it's one of those games where it it just didn't feel didn't feel like it was a worthy successor to the original one because I quite frankly love the original. The second one was I I once I got halfway through it I was ready for it to be over. So, yeah, absolutely. What about like so I think all three of us bought all four of us bought Crackdown three. <laughs> That's one of those games I kind of felt bad about. Because it was tied to Terry Crews, and I like Terry Crews. Yeah. But it it touted man everything they were showing on that game was looking great, but it it it's a crappy sequel. <laughs> it's worse than the other two by far. It's I honestly doesn't even feel like a sequel. It feels like a uh, you know a remaster of the original one with just some few perks and minor visual upgrades. It was. It was bad. It was a. It was another game that was announced way too early. Uh, it was announced before they even had a, a really a good concept, thought, or an ideal into it. And they announced it, uh, and then they tried to follow through, even though they should have known it was going to be bad. Right. Yeah. I think it changed developers a few times too. I think uh, during the time, but you know. It, that's something yeah. you know I, and i don't know i don't know how you guys feel but i think terry cruz is a pretty good actor and, and i you know he's one of those guys that i follow uh i guess if terry cruz can't save it nobody could right <laughs> hey hector macho camacho for president buddy <laughs> i gotta Mondo. hope everybody knows that got what <laughs> plants need that's right Mondo. got what plants crave <laughs> that kind of leads me to think about a couple other games or at least a genre of games and that's kind of that saints row that uh grand theft auto those games i have never ever been into um i just i don't mind violence and like kooky violence and ridiculousness and and all that but i i just when i play a game it's that's just not my driving force behind a game and um, so I, I know a couple of y'all have played those games and some of you like those games. So I was like, I'm like curious, like, what do you guys think? I'd like to let's start with Nick this time and, and ask him, like, what about you? Like what games, how do you feel about those series? Obviously, you know, Grand Theft Auto five just seems to be the game that never dies. Uh, Saints Row and Grand Theft Auto just get better with age. I, I like all of them personally. Um, but I think, you know, out of all of them. Grand Theft Auto wise, I think five is probably the best one, 
And Saints Row, it, you know, again, it's one of those things that just gets better with age. I think the last one was really, really good. It's just off the wall, funny, crazy. So I think those games in particular get better with age. Um, the further they go, the more... With, with Saints Row, the further they go, the crazier they get. And with uh, Grand Theft Auto, the further they went, the better storytelling they got, especially with five. Yeah, they're two genres that are that are supposed to be the same, but they're not. Uh, Saints Row is is a, is all about how far can I take it? How far can I drag crap and make it nutty and crazy? And and they're always fun. They're always funny. Uh, Grand Theft Auto is all you know. It has all that too. It has the funny and stuff, but it has a fantastic story on every one except for you know uh to me uh four was fine uh not the best one um uh, san andreas was crap in my opinion it was the only one i hated only one i i didn't beat but if my opinion five is fantastic but vice city i think vice city i would love to see a complete remaster of was you know today's visuals and everything Vice City was so good, so funny, and it was it was really the driving force of a lot of the you know these games now. I would agree. I uh, with the series, I think they get better with age. I think Five is the best of the of the Saints Row, and I think mm-hmm. that you know um, I think excuse me Saints Row they just keep getting better. They went up to four, or they have to I guess even five if you can't count the the Get Out of Hell one, which is the would be number five, yeah. but. Um, you know, and then um, Grand Theft Auto Five. You know that game has outlived consoles at this point. <laughs> I mean, it's, it has. <laughs> it has. It started out on 360. <laughs> yeah. X. You know, 360, PS3, Xbox uh, One, PS4, Xbox, yeah. and it's coming. You know, and it's transferable over to the Series X and PS5. Right. It's like it, holy crap. <laughs> it outlived the Xbox One series. And outlast the PlayStation 4 series. So that game is just, and it's still being sold to this day. You could still buy new copies, and people are still playing online with that today. This yeah. game, that game. So it's still making Rockstar money. And the same thing with Saints with Saints Row. They keep adding new content to that game, and it keeps going. Uh, and I think they get better with with age on those ones. Saints Row is just, as Shane said, how far can we take this? You know, yeah. you know. How far can you make that alien take that dildo baseball bat? You know, stuff like that. (laughs) You know, Um, and then, you know, and then Grand Theft Auto is just kind of cool stories. You know, it's kind of the last Grand Theft Auto 5 was a really good single player campaign. And the online multiplayer was quite fun. We played a few of the heists and stuff like that. So, I mean, that game's got a lot going for it. So I think their series games is better with time with, you know, with the only exception for Rockstar being the Red Dead Redemption series, I actually like the first one better than the second one. Uh, yeah, the second one was it, it was kind of a heartbreaking game because I wanted it to be so good because I have such fond memories of one, and it's just it's not it's not as good. The story is not as good. Graphics are, are amazing. Don't get me wrong, but graphics don't make a game. I mean, they just don't. It, it wished it wouldn't have gone the way it did. It was just, you know, you spend eight hours walking through snow just to come down, you know, from the mountains and spend, you know, eight hours riding to one town or the other. It's another, it's another one of those, you know, it's just too big, you know, shrink it down a little bit, make it more fun. <laughs> well, cool. I mean, yeah, there, you know, and, and, and I'm all for, I'm one of these people who are, how can sports games still survive to this date? Because I think they're boring and and they're not fun. But I'm a, I'm a minority in that group because I don't care about FIFA. I don't care about NBA 2K. I don't care about Madden. I could care less if those games existed. Um, those games are a long running DLC in my opinion. <laughs> they just keep on putting out a new game every year with yeah. new rosters and all that kind of stuff with just a little bit of tweaking the game. But I, I don't understand how those games can survive, especially because I cannot imagine the licensing fees that EA has to pay to pull in team names and all that kind of stuff. Cause I mean, I, I don't know, maybe they don't have to pay this stuff. Maybe I don't understand how that works, but how can you, you know, how can you have all this stuff in a game and you don't have to pay something out to somebody cause you're using likenesses 
likenesses mm. of all these people, so I don't know. Maybe I'm not understanding I'm how sure the game actually works. Hey, royalties and stuff like that. Yeah, but, somebody's you know, getting a percentage. got the market cornered on that, you know. They're the only ones that can bring out NFL and uh, especially with Madden, you know, NFL um, licensed game of NFL players and, and uh, teams. And there's a lot of people who like football, and those people who like football will buy Madden every single year. So they have the market cornered on that. They're the only ones that can do it. So, of course, they're going to pay those royalties and things to different groups because they're making money hand over fist, bringing out the same game every year. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, I mean, well, they're, they're not the only ones that put out football games. I mean, ESPN no, has but, but a license, game. With licensed teams yeah. and stuff. Yeah, well, I mean, nobody ESPN else is has... the real team. ESPN and NFL. ESPN and NFL. They, they, they don't make that one anymore, do they, Russ? Do you know if that ESPN and NFL still is going on? No, no. The only uh, the only people, like they were, you were saying, so uh, I think EA has NHL, PGA, and um, NFL now. College, they stopped doing college uh, quite a few years ago um, because of the questions on likenesses and stuff like that. Um, so they stopped play- making that one. They haven't made a basketball game. They haven't made an NBA Live game, and I think in forever. Uh, 2K, 2K has that. Yeah. yeah, 2K has those games. And, and so, and I will say this on the sports games. I... Y'all know I played, I mean, I, that's console wise, that's what I started on. From 1995 to about 2004, 2005, I mean, that's the reason why I had a console was play sport, sports games. And now it's gotten to the point where it's just like everything in the game is micromanaged. I, I, I'm not saying that that's not cool for some people, but for me, it's just too much. I mean, when I like to play a sports game, I, you know, I like to have some control, but I, I, I don't know. They're just not the same they used to be. And like you said, at a certain point, it's just too much. But people live and die by those games and swear up and down by them, and, and they will until the end of the time. I know a guy. I know a, a guy who played 2K, and he spent a hundred and fifty dollars on 2K every month. Because they buy these VC points or something like that that you can power up and get different things within the game. And this dude spent like four or five hundred dollars in a two or three month time frame after he paid for a sixty dollar game. So I was like, that definitely helped me a few years ago say I'm never doing this again. All right. I guess yeah, EA so has nice. most of them, right? I mean EA has Madden, EA yeah. has uh Mad- the- Madden, they have the, right now, I think it's the Rory McIlroy. They have Madden. No, they, they have the Fifas. They have the uh, yeah Fifa uh, I mean, and hockey. They don't have yeah, college NHL they, stuff. Oh, I college, thought they had the college ones. No, college hasn't made. A, they haven't made a game for college in like four or five years now. I think they stopped doing NCAA football quite a few years ago because of the licensing fees. Because I think students weren't getting anything out of it. Only the universities were getting the money. So uh, the players getting paid. Yeah, Yeah, college students aren't allowed to get paid. uh, Yeah, they're not for stuff like that. So the so the that like the students, I think that the student athletes were getting ticked because the colleges were getting the money for the licensing fees. And, uh, and so, you know, the, the, the schools were just like, okay, well, we're done then because, you know, they, even the NCA was like, this is kind of garbage. You can't do this. You know, it's not fair for everything. So they stopped making up years ago. So, I mean, the only other big players in there is 2k because 2k has, um, 2k studios has, they have the golf game, right. And they also have the basketball. Uh, I think all they do 2k is baseball and football. Baseball and basketball right now, I thought. I thought that's the only thing they do. Baseball is PlayStation. The show is PlayStation, Sony Studios. I think MLB, though. What's that? MLB has been been over for a while. That that one's been done for a while. MLB, the show, is put on by PlayStation. Or Sony Studios, I should say. Yeah, you're thinking about ESPN. Well, yeah. all those damn games are, are nothing. They're all those damn games are just like a dang cell phone you get every year. It's the same freaking thing. They just throw another camera on it. Well, it's I was just there's one only, little there's only change. A few players in there. That's what I was trying to say. So the the golf game, 
the PGA Tour cough game. That's 2K, right? No, that's e, that's EA. EA oh, makes that EA? The, yeah. Okay. There are some other games that do it, but they don't they don't they don't have the PGA licensing. Only oh, okay. EA has the PGA. So in other words, Rory McIlroy, Phil, Phil Mickelson, uh, uh, my gosh, I know more people that Tiger Woods, uh, those guys, they all can their they are their likenesses can be used, even though they normally don't use all of them. They only use a handful of them, but they they have the PGA licensing. But that that's one of those things where I understand. I don't understand how that company can make money, how how sports game can make money with all the licensing fees and everything like that. But I guess they're they're probably I don't know. There's probably more sports fan than there are video game fans, I guess, in this world. I would say um, because there's enough people out there that they build stadiums and they pay millions of dollars to have a team in their city every year. So I mean, I can only imagine they probably are more sports fans than there are video game only fans. Right, and then like Russ was saying, you know, is that guy you know spends like five hundred dollars a month. Just take take that times all the people doing probably the same exact thing, <laughs> you know. Right. And and like I Alpha said, I know people who bet. They're making yeah. bank, you know. Well, I mean, you got stuff like DraftKings and all these sports betting games companies that are allowed to operate. So I mean, <laughs> you know, that are making all this money. So that's one genre I don't understand how it survives, but it's I. I I play I haven't played a Madden game in probably three or four years. I only played one because Russ said, "Hey, we should play football together." And I think we played one or two, one or two games together, and that was it. And I was like, "I'm done." I think we played more hockey than we did anything. I think we got yeah. like NHL like 2005 or something like that, and we played <laughs> that. But it was like, it, but it, like again, it was just something to kind of go between games while we were waiting on whatever MMO we were waiting on to come out, and it was like you know. When it comes to like just me and Pat kind of games, we always loved like like uh, you know like the Army of Twos, the the, the stuff like that, those. like those. Yeah, those are those are really what those are. But the sports games are it's they're going to continue as long as we have a young crowd. There, I don't think there are some older guys that I know that like to play it, but most generally, it, it kind of it, it's almost cyclical with the younger crowd. Once you get to be like a thirty-year-old gamer, there's I don't know as many that love those kind of games as they as they used to when they were younger. So let's let's do this. So since we're kind of winding this episode down, let's go through this and basically say I want to hear from each of you guys on what you would like, what game you want a sequel from, and what game you wish you want them to stop creating sequels. Uh, let's start with Russ. Russ, what's a game you would love to get a sequel for? And what's one game franchise you want them to stop making sequels? Oh, uh, I mean, it's almost unfair because a ghost of Tsushima, I'm like, like, hurry up. Like, I can't get another one. Like, you needed to make one yesterday. Now, there is words out that they probably are going to make a sequel. But, like, that one there, I, I hope if they can keep it anywhere in that genre, the way that game plays. I don't care if they take another person on another island and it's like his long lost cousin or something. I don't care. Keep making that game. You can't make enough of them. That's one game for sure. Um, another game I would say that I would like to see more of, but they need to be very better versions. I'd like to see more Star Wars, solid Star Wars games. That would be really nice. Uh, and then games that they can stop making, man, that's a good one because lately we haven't been playing too many sequels that shouldn't have any more. I'm going to I'm going to hold for a minute, listen to everybody else, and then maybe come back to me on the on on which one I don't want to see any more of. I would say Devil May Cry or 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 like you know Dead Dead or Alive twenty eight thousand, but I don't even play those, so they don't even matter to me. Nick, how about you? A franchise I would love to see them make again, and, and this is one that I said before that you know the sequels were pretty much horrible. Uh, is Castlevania Lords of destruction or lords of shadows i i would like to see a new castlevania game in general i, I don't think they've made i mean they brought out the the cla- the uh collection uh i think last year but that was just the older games um there's been other games that are castlevania ex- inspired um but i think the last time they actually came out with a full-fledged castlevania game was 2014 with lords of shadows 2 and that's the last, pretty much the last time we've seen an actual Castlevania game. So I'd love to see another one. 
if not another Lords of Shadows that was like the first Lords of Shadows. Um, that was made by Mercury Steam, which I think Nintendo owns now. So the the, the odds of them <laughs> making another uh, Lords of Shadows is probably zero. But you know, a, a good developer coming out with a Lords of Shadows game would be awesome. Or even uh, uh, another Silent Hill would be great. A uh, franchise I would like to see them stop doing, Watch Dogs. I have to go back to that. I mean, <laughs> again, I haven't played the third one. I just don't expect that game to be any better than the first two. And I think Ubisoft should just just stop making that. I don't know why they keep making that game. That game sucks. The first one sucked. The second one was better, but still sucked. I expect this one to maybe be better, but probably still sucks. So, I don't know why they keep making them, because people like us keep buying them, even if we buy it, them on sale. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's probably true. But, I mean, it's like, just just kill that franchise, Ubisoft. That was a dead one. You know, it started off dead. It, 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 you're trying to resurrect a dead body here, and it's just not uh, it's not working. So no. that's one that uh, I would like to see them just, hmm. just be done with Legion, and that's it. Yeah, I can agree with those. And, and I wasn't a big Castlevania fan, but... I would like to see something current with that one. Maybe I can get into the series, you know, if with something newer. That might be interesting. Right. I mean, they could go like a God of War route with Castlevania, you know, make it really like story driven and stuff that, you know, that's kind of what they do with Lord of Shadows, the first one. Um, so if you never played that one, you can backwards compatible that game on uh, Xbox. And it's a really good action game, uh, action combat game with a really good story. Um, so and really nice graphics, especially for the time. You know, if they kind of went that route with it, I think it, I think it'd be pretty cool. Awesome. So, so Shane, what do you, what do you got on this one? Oh, stop making uh, Assassin's Creed for a while, please. <laughs> no, no, we're talking about permanently. Stop. If you're telling them to stop, they got to stop permanently. <laughs> okay, stop making Assassin's Creed. All right, so Shane's on the Assassin's Creed. All right. <laughs> then, what do you want to see a sequel made of? Final Fantasy VIII. I thought I, I was think gonna... Assassin's Creed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to see a sequel to Final Fantasy VIII. They make sequels of ten and thirteen. Are uh, you a sequel of thirteen? Yeah, they did two of two them. of them. I didn't even yeah. know. I know the ten dot two or whatever ten two. Ten X two. Yeah, then they made uh, thirteen two and thirteen three. Oh, I yeah. didn't know that. Lightning returns, and oh my god, we're doing it again. <laughs> uh, but no, honestly, I would like to see them do a Final Fantasy VIII sequel. You know, not just a, a remaster, but I want to see an actual sequel because I, I loved everything about that game, and I think yeah. there's a lot of promise for a uh, sequel to it. So, well, that's interesting. Hmm. What you so, got? So I'm going to say what I would like to see stop. I want to see EA. Lose the licensing for Star Wars games. I am tired of EA Star here, Wars. Games. Here, here. They don't do Star Wars right. They need to get rid of Star Wars. Um, the last few games that they put out have been okay at best. You know, Squadrons was okay. The Jedi Order was okay. I mean, it was borderline good for them, in my opinion. Uh, the Fallen Order one. Battlefront, Battlefront 2. Battlefront 2 especially is garbage. You know, so I need. they need to pass the torch to a better studio for Star Wars. Um, I'm yeah. tired of EA getting to make these games and they've done nothing but basically drive um, the MMO into the ground. So the the Star Wars MMO game is basically garbage now because of EA and it's microtransactions and, and garbage free. Their free to play model is garbage and unplayable. Um, so I'd like to see them get rid of that. I would like to see somebody else get it. Honestly, if Bioware wasn't owned by EA, I would love for them to do it. But they're owned by EA, and I'd be scared. Yeah, EA just I'd craps on the everything they did. Uh, Jedi Academy. I don't know if that developer. That's Raven Software, so now they're 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 uh, what Activision. But yeah, Jedi Academy and Jedi Academy Two are great Star Wars games. Hmm. Well, if we want to go on that realm, I want to see an Armed and Dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Um, yeah. So that that's who I'd like to see stop making a game series. What I would like to see is kind of a double edged sword because I <laughs> I don't want Andromeda to be the end of the series. I don't want it to be the end of the series <laughs> because it was so bad. I want to see that game done right, and they left it on such a huge 
huge cliffhanger that I want it to continue, but I'm a little bit scared for them to continue that because I don't want EA to screw Bioware any more than they already have. You know, they're basically sucking the life out of Bioware and I hate it, but I really don't want my, my, my treasured series to end the way that it has ended so far. <laughs> I can't, can't leave it like that. So I hope that they make some, they continue it and they either close out the story properly. And what I mean by that is EA get away from it and let Bioware do what Bioware does, tell great stories and make great games. They made games, they made money. That's why EA wanted them so bad is because they yep. were the best of the best in their development genre. And now EA, as when EA buys anything, they basically butcher them. So yep. you got to stop. So that, and if I can't have that, I want a really good God game. Like the original, um, the original uh, black and white game that was made by like Lionhead Studios. Yeah. The, I like the original one of that one. I don't like the the black and white too. So I want that sequel to be remade based more off of the original black and white or something similar to those God games. Yeah. I'd love to see a new black and white. It probably never happened, but I'd love to see a new black and white. I love that game. Well, and Lionhead Studios is gone. So. Right. Right. I don't know who owns that. I don't even know if anybody owns that franchise now. Somebody uh, has to, I mean, cause the I'm Fate sure, series yeah. was owned by them. So, right. I'm sure. So, but, um, going back to Mass Effect, what you're saying, you know, what I'd love to see take on the Mass Effect mantle is Obsidian. Yeah, yeah, they, they make really could. good RPGs. Yeah, so it'd be interesting to see them do one. Yeah, I mean, if not like the mainline stories, like a like a side, like a spinoff or something, that'd be cool to to have Obsidian do like a spinoff because I mean, you know, they did you know uh, New Vegas, which. Yep, the Fallout. I was gonna say the Fallout series, which is one of the best, the better yeah. of the Fallout games. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then of course they have their own franchises like uh, Pillars of uh, Pillars Eternity. Of Eternity. Yeah, yep. Pillars of Eternity one yep. and two, which are really good, and Tyranny, which is really good. So, yeah, I would love to see Obsidian take oh, that yeah. on. I mean, I mean they have some great games. You know, Knights of the Old Republic two. Uh, right, uh, which is a really good. Uh, one. Yeah, the Neverwinter Nights too. They they also did uh, Dungeon Seed three, uh, and the Pillars of Eternity stuff. Like you said, you know, I mean, they made some really good games. They did Outer Worlds, which I liked. Outer Worlds. That's one of the more recent ones. Um, I have to say, I was not a fan of Outer Worlds. It, it was fine. It, there was nothing really wrong with it. It just never grabbed my attention. It got it. It basically scratched that Fallout itch for me a little bit. Not not entirely, but some of it. For Obsidian. I don't know. It, it it had a ton of bugs, but oh my gosh, this game. Uh, Alpha Protocol. Did anybody ever play Alpha Protocol? Yes. Yeah, I played oh with God, it. That game, that game. No, it's not. A, it's not. It was a single player game. Oh no, I'm thinking of that other one you tried to get me into. This sucked. APB. Oh no, that game sucked. <laughs> uh, no, Alpha Protocol. Alpha Protocol like got really bad scores and it has a bunch of bugs, but you can still play it now and it still has a bunch of bugs. I guess there maybe the community maybe have gotten rid of them, but the dialogue in that game is it is so freaking hilarious. You play as a spy and you're almost like you but <laughs> the way that you play as a spy is you're almost like double a mixture of 007 and a really and like uh uh uh, Leslie Nielsen like spy, you know. <laughs> so Jeez. you kind of like the combination of those two put together, and it is hilarious. So it, it's on Steam, and it's usually like super cheap. So if you ever like see it, you should uh, definitely buy it and play it. It is hilarious. I would love to see them make another one of those. Right. Yeah. And and you know they. I don't know if if you guys haven't played like Pillars of Return to Two Dead Fire. That one's a pretty good game. I mean, Obsidian makes. Pretty oh, I love Pillars stuff. of Eternity. Yeah, yeah that game I mean, is awesome. I mean, I will say that Dungeon Siege 3 is probably one of my least favorite of the Dungeon Siege games. That was games. probably the worst one. <laughs> and they did that one, but, you know. But not, I, not every game they do are bangers, but no, a I lot mean, of them. Uh, yeah, the majority of what they put out is great. I mean, like, they did, they did the best South Park game, in my opinion. The Stick of Truth <laughs> is, is great, you know. It is fantastic. The, the sequel is, yeah, better, the sequel, but, uh, God, what's that one? 
Uh, uh, yeah, we can't say the sequel name. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, no, the, Mr. Seagan's making the fractured butthole. Out. Yeah, the fractured butthole. That wasn't theirs though. No, they didn't do the fractured butthole. They didn't do fractured butthole. Nope. I think that it was good. good. But they're making that new one too, Avowed, which you know we only got a that one. Yeah. I think, but that I I have a lot of hype for that being just Obsidian and being an RPG from them. Because that's one thing, especially especially lately with the last Pillars of Eternities and a lot of the RPGs they've been doing, even Grounded, which is a really good survival game. It's not really necessarily an RPG, but that's a great fun game that we we all have fun with. So, yeah, looking yeah. forward to their new their new game. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So that that yeah, I'm definitely looking interested in that. And you know, the the last fractured butthole game was made by Ubisoft. That South Park one. <laughs> Funny how stuff gets passed around to different developers. Yeah, but they did a good job. I, I really, really liked it. Yeah, it's um, funny. Um, it was definitely. Uh, I definitely enjoyed it because it had an old school uh, gameplay feel to it, without being, you know, really crappy old school. And apparently, Obsidian did Wasteland too. Uh, Obsidian did Wasteland too. So it says. I thought that was. That looks like it with with in exile in exile. So it looks like both of them partnered. You know, maybe they did like maybe Obsidian did some of the. Uh, I only I only thought you know Deep Silver was their publisher and then Exile was the only one that I remember doing that one. Yeah, it says let's see here. It says developer in exile. I wonder if they just did like the ports or something. That might be. Oh, I maybe the ports to like the consoles and stuff. Because yeah, I was pretty sure that 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 was a crowdfunded game that in right. exile been. Yeah, it showed Obsidian as being a part of it, so they probably just did the ports, more than likely. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, maybe they helped them. Who knows? Some of these studios, like, help each other out. One of the games, you know, that, you know, just before we kind of cut out a little bit here, one of the one of the sequels that I keep that I keep wanting to play and we keep getting teasers of is, uh, is Good and Evil 2. Yeah, I haven't heard nothing about that in couple of years yeah yeah beyond yeah was it beyond good and evil 2 yeah because the first one was freaking stupid funny yeah and, and and i keep you know that game's been ubisoft you know it's one of those things where the games we want from ubisoft they're not putting out but the games that we don't want they are putting out <laughs> you know we keep teasing that one and we have i haven't heard anything on that one in a couple of years but i'd like to see that one because what i did see on the trailer that one looked really good Oh yeah, but again, yeah. it's one of those things they you know announce it you know three four admit. years yeah and it's whatever happened to Metroid huh huh nothing nothing happened with it it ain't going to be made right yeah. quit, just quit telling me crap three years in advance six months I want six months notice yeah that's all I need six months yeah well, Metroid do they had a they had a different developer and then they. They got rid of them and brought back Retro, who did the first three primes. So I would like that. That one had to restart, but it was good. It was a, it was a good restart because you know they they brought back the original Prime developer Retro to do the next uh, Metroid Prime Four. So that's yeah. good. Oh, all right. Well, you know where I stand. Final Fantasy VIII two. <laughs> I just want new Final Fantasies. I can't wait for the new one, the 16. Yeah, so. 16 does look good. So, I'm a fan. So, well, cool. Anybody else got anything else they want to throw in or add in that they want to see real quick or that they don't want to see any more of? I got nope. one thing to add. Yep. What you got, this Nick? Is for Shane. We we're talking about like I'm talking about Max Payne earlier and Rockstar. Yeah. Rockstar remembers Midnight Run. <laughs> oh my God! Yes, that was. I played the crap out of that. Uh, what don't like the, a I want to see. Oh my Rockstar god! Farm I, I just remembered the first one I played, and it's like, oh yeah, I was doing the uh, Nintendo hand. <laughs> I mean, what that was Konami, wasn't it? No, no, it was Rockstar. Midnight Run. I thought Konami no. was. I thought Midnight Run was the Konami ones. No, it's that's a the ones you play game. in the arcade, right? No, well, I don't think they had that in arcade. Midnight sure Run. That was... That's the racing no, game, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like Fast and Furious before Fast and the Furious. Midnight Run's a Konami game. 
You see that? You still see those in arcades. Or, no, oh, sorry. It, I'm sorry. I, I was thinking of Midnight Club, but um, same, same concept. Uh, Midnight Club. Uh, I don't okay. know if they can bring that one back or not. All right. Mm. I was like, wait a minute, guys. Midnight Run is. Uh, I think you were thinking of Outrun. Which Me? Is, yeah, because no. those were the arcade Midnight, games. Midnight Run is the. I, I just had to Google yeah. it. Midnight, Midnight Run, Run is, is the Konami. Konami. Yeah. They're the arcade. Yeah, you still see them run, Yeah, arcade. you could get. Yeah, you could get on bikes and cars, and you'd have to, you know, run and go pick up, you know, oh, pallets man, of drugs and. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was thinking of Midnight Club, but okay. Still, Midnight Run, that might be good too. <laughs> yeah, I would like to have a nice, a really a fun arcadey uh, game like that again. Or maybe Outrun. Bring that back. That'd be good. We'll just do. Uh... <laughs> What was Cruising that? USA. Sketching, sketching, whatever oh. the game. <laughs> Cruising USA. Which game? The game, was it called? Sketching or Sketching or whatever back in the day where you had, uh, with, you were on rollerblades. And yes. you would rode Ryan Radio. What? Check Ryan Radio? Yeah. That's the only rollerblade game I could think of. Yeah. What was it? Man, I thought it was called Sketching. Um, maybe it's, I can't remember the name of it now, but basically you're on rollerblades and you would like tag onto the back of people's cars and you would hit people with pipes and then you would like draft, you would basically get flung to the next car. Hmm. What was the name of that one? Um, well, I it kind of reminded me of like Road Rash back in the day type game, but except for you were on rollerblades. It was aggressive inline. What was the name of that? It was Skitchin. S-K-I-T-C-H-I-N. It was for the Sega. And you were on rollerblades. Skitchin. Nope, don't. Sound 1994 remote, racing it? game developed and oh, published wow. by K. Yeah, I don't remember that one. I yeah, you were, basically, <laughs> you were basically on rollerblades, and you would, like I said, you would draft on cars. You would be hanging on the back of a car, and you would basically fling yourself to the next car in front, and you were racing people behind you. And when they would catch up to your car, you could hit them with pipes and chains to knock them off. So it's like would, Road Rash on, ra- on Razor on Razorblades. Uh, <laughs> rollerblades, yeah. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, it was Road Rash on rollerblades. <laughs> this was some rad dudes. And they had some, some <laughs> interesting odd, uh, sound and music to it. So cool. Anybody else got anything they want to add before we wrap this guy up? All right. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> All right. Well, we appreciate everybody listening to this episode, and we hope to catch you next time. <laughs>